It's incredible. If you really like it, you can bid on it in our silent auction. <laughs> Be right back with some champagne. Okay. It's an abstract. Excuse me? The painting. It's an abstract. It means things aren't always what they seem. Oh, got it. Chris, by the way, Chris Crawwell? Hello, Chris Crowell. My name is Dr. Ramson. Oh, doctor. Indeed. Yes, I received my doctorate in accounting from Stanford. Oh, Stanford. So what about you? What university did you attend? I didn't go to college, actually. I started work right away. That's unfortunate. My thesis paper on corporate reporting accounting issues was published right after I graduated. Wow. Then I was hired by C-Squared Financial. They paid me a lot of money because I'm a PhD. Wow, congratulations. Thanks. Now let me guess. You don't have a degree. So what do you work? Retail? Uh, actually, I'm... Here we go, Mr. Crawwell. Uh, thank you. Would you like a glass, Mr...? Doctor. Dr. Ramson. And sure, I'll take one. Mmm. Wow, this is really good. What is this? <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. You don't know about Dom Perignon? It's only one of the most highly celebrated vintage champagne brands in the world. Actually, I meant which- But I forgot. You didn't go to college. So you couldn't possibly have the wealth or the education to even know what Dom Perignon is. <laughs> Silly me. <laughs> Watch it! Uh, oh no, I, I, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, you bumbling idiot! I can't believe this! It's all right, I'm gonna help you clean this up. Look, I am so sorry. These are Tom Ford. Do you know how much these cost? Uh, I, I... I'll spare you the details. A thousand dollars. Who am I kidding? You're wearing sneakers. They probably don't cost more than fifty dollars. Uh, actually, these are... You all okay now? Yeah. Sorry to interrupt, it's just, uh, the bidding is closing soon. Did you want to put in an offer? Uh, uh... Don't even bother. I actually came to buy this painting. You can't outbid me. Thanks. Yeah. Last chance. There you go. Thank you. You're welcome. Attention everyone, we have closed the bidding on our paintings and we will be announcing the winner shortly. Why are you even trying to buy this painting? Well, I like it because it applies to real life. It's as you said, things aren't always what they seem. What do you mean? Well, you see, on the outside, this painting can look simple. Surface is covered in random shapes, messy lines, and a minefield of colors. But if you look deeper, between the lines, this painting is a brilliant piece of art and worth more than most people would ever imagine. Okay. So what does that have to do with real life? Similarly, on the outside, you thought just because I didn't go to college and I'm dressed just like this, that I'm not smart or successful. But reality isn't always what it seems. Sir, bottle of champagne you ordered. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. When I was asking about the champagne earlier, I wasn't asking about the brand. Any fool knows that Dom Perignon is one of the most celebrated brands of vintage champagne in the whole world. Okay. So what were you asking? I was asking about which phase a vintage the bottle was from. This is a phase three. The most expensive, but also my personal favorite. And this bottle has been aged over 20 years. So yes, I know what Dom Perignon is. I see. And when you said that my shoes weren't worth over 
$50. Well, oh my gosh. Are those the new Jordan Dior sneakers? Yes, they are. Wow. I can't believe you have those. Cool shoes, man. Thank you. Yeah, see, these sneakers, they're worth $10,000. Well, you probably spent everything you own buying those sneakers. <laughs> Attention, everyone. We have the top bidder for our Composition X painting, and it is going to... Mr. Chris Crowell. Congratulations, sir. Thank you so much. Wait, I don't believe this. How is it you can have so much money? You didn't even go to college. Well, unlike you said earlier, I don't work retail. I'm actually the CEO of C-Square Capital. Yeah, that's why I named it C-Square. After Chris Crowell. So you own the company? Mm-hmm. I don't understand. Well, sometimes life is a little abstract. And things aren't always what they seem. You have a great day. Doctor. Ransom. Look what just came in. The limited edition Christian Louboutins. The commission on these is going to be insane. Yeah. Wow. These are really nice. If anyone can sell these, it's going to be me. No offense. <laughs> Excuse me. Hi, Alan. Are those the new Christian Louboutins? It's a $1,500 pair of shoes. Might be a little bit out of your budget. Plus, we only have a size 7 left. Oh, well, that's actually my size. Uh, do you think I could try one on? Look, I'm not trying to be rude here, but I really don't feel like wasting my time. We have a clearance rack, it's right? It's not a problem. You can absolutely try these on. I'll go get some nylon socks for you. Okay, thank you. What are you doing? Why would you let her try those on? She obviously can't afford it. Well... Appearances can be misleading. You shouldn't be so quick to judge. Look, I know who buys and who doesn't, okay? She's just gonna try them on, take a picture for her Instagram, and leave like everybody else. You're just wasting your time. Oh my god. These are so beautiful. Oh, do you have any water? I'm, my mouth is kind of parched. I'm sorry, we don't. Do you mind putting those back? I need to keep them clean for the next person. You know, you can actually afford to buy them. Hello. Do you have the new um, limited edition Louboutins that just came out? Hi there, ma'am. Uh, welcome, yes, of course, but we only have a size seven. Perfect, I'm a size seven. Perfect. I love those. Would you like to try them on? Well, that won't be necessary. I'll buy them. Oh, wow. Okay, that's wonderful. You're gonna look fantastic in these. Okay, got the socks. Thank you so much for waiting. That won't be necessary. This woman's gonna buy them, right ma'am? Oh yeah, I can't wait to wear those. I'll meet you at the register. <laughs> Next time, Take my advice, and don't waste your time on people who can't afford expensive things. Maybe then you'll actually be able to sell a pair of shoes. I'm, I'm so sorry about that. It's okay. It's not your fault. There are some new shoes we just got in that you might like. Would you like to see them? Yes, uh, that would be lovely. Thank you. Of course. Here's your water. These shoes are gonna look so great with your outfit. You got the top, the Gucci bag, and now you got the shoes to tie it all together. Everyone's gonna know how much money you have. You get it. That's the goal. Here, you can use this card. Okay, great. That'll be $1,645 on the credit card. These just came in from Italy. And they're handmade. Wow. 
They are absolutely beautiful. Yeah. I think they look stunning on you. Oh, thank you. Yeah. You know, this store needs more nice people like you. Thank you. I just try to treat everyone the same, no matter what. Hmm. Saying it's declined, that's odd. Let me try it again. Sometimes these readers don't work. Is there a problem? So, saying this card isn't working. Do you want to try another one? No, that's the only one. Can you try it again? I really need to post these shoes on Instagram so that people think I have money. Um, unfortunately, it's still not working. But no worries, you can just pay cash. There's a bank right next door if you need to go get some money. Cash? No, I don't have that kind of money in my bank account. That's why I wanted to use a credit card. <laughs> what do you mean? You have a Gucci bag, you can clearly afford it. Look, don't tell anyone. It's actually empty. <laughs> I just borrowed it from a friend. Uh, do you think I could still try them on though? For, you know, the gram. Oh hey, you're back. How'd it work out? It didn't. Her card got declined. She took a picture and left. Wow, I'm sorry about that. I'll buy them. Really? That would be great. Let me get those wrapped up for you. Wait, look, no offense, but if my customer's card didn't go through, there's no way your credit card is gonna go through. Let's not waste each other's time here. Credit card? <laughs> Who said anything about a credit card? I'm paying cash. Wait, where did you get all that money? Well, I own my own million dollar company and uh, the reason that I look like this is because I just came from the nail salon. Oh, and by the way, I'll take a size seven in all of these that you've shown me. That is, if you don't mind. Wow, that sounds great. Follow me to the cash register. I'll be right there. Thank you. Of course. Excuse me? Oh, hey, next time, remember, appearances can be misleading. You shouldn't be so quick to judge. And maybe then, sell some shoes. So, are you going to Miley's party? Of course. You know I've had a crush on her since like fourth grade. I don't know what I'm gonna wear, though. You should be worried about your shoes more than anything. Those are busted. <laughs> Get the jokes, huh? Hey, what the heck, Eddie? Uh, oh, sorry, Ryan. Do you know I meant she's Jay's cost, bro? A lot more than those crappy Air Forces on your feet. Yeah, those look like trash. I bet they have cooties. Cootie shooties. <laughs> hey. You're lucky you didn't scuff my shoes. I wouldn't be so nice. Let's go. You good, bro? Yeah, you're right. Should probably get some new sneakers before Miley's party. 80, 5, 90, 100. I need 120 more to get the new pair of J's. Why don't you just ask your mom for some? Wow. Looks like someone can start paying some of the bills around here. Mom? How much do you love me? Hmm. Not enough to do whatever it is you're about to ask for. <laughs> what is it, honey? The new Jordans. Can I get them so that I can go to Miley's party with them on? Please, please, please. I have $100 to put toward them. You're not spending all of your savings on a pair of sneakers. It's like, that's the worst idea ever. Absolutely not. Mm -mm. Another pair of sneakers, Jeremy? What is it with the guys in this house? It's like you guys are sneaker crazy. Sneaker, sneaker head, ma. Mm -hmm. Plus, you know I have my own business. Hey, 
Those the new Jordans? Yes, sir. The new Nike Chili Reds in size nine. Sick, right? I can fend those. I know. Hey, bro. Do you mind if I borrow those for a party? No. Please. No. Please. No. No way. These are brand new. I'm not going to do anything to them. I'm just going to wear them. Here, I'll even give you $100. <laughs> These cost me $250, bro. Absolutely not. Keep saving up your money. When you get a little bit older, I'll add you to my sneaker resale hustle, okay? That way, you can rock some fresh kicks and make some money while doing so. Like me. Man, I would look so sick with those on at the party. Everyone would go crazy. I mean, isn't there some other pair of sneakers you can wear? Bro? If I showed you what I have, you'd see why I wear these every day. Dude, that fit is fire. Yup. What shoes am I going to wear with it, though? Well, I don't know. <laughs> Those are pretty bad. Where should we even get them? My mom says since I'm growing so fast, there's no point in spending money on nice shoes. Dad? actually makes sense. Just wear your Air Forces. Nah, man. Can't do that. Or you laughed at. Plus, what will Miley think? Oh, you should want people to like you for who you are, not what you have. Yeah, I don't know about that. Okay, I'll just ask Jeremy one more time to borrow his. Come on. Can you hear me? He's not in here. Man, he could open up his own shoe store. Oh, that's his plan. You know, maybe if I just quickly... Hey, what are you guys doing in here? Hmm? <clears throat> oh, you were looking for Jeremy? Well, you just missed him. He's spending the night at Benny's house. Now hurry up and get out of his room. You know how mad he gets when anyone is in it. Yeah, coming. All right. Oh, come on, man, let's get out of here. Wait. If he's not coming back till tomorrow, he wouldn't mind. No, no way, man, all right? You heard what Jeremy said. He will kill you. That's fine. It completes the fit. It's fire. Yeah, but Jeremy's going to find out. He sells shoes for a living. So? I'll just clean them before I put them back. He won't know. Guaranteed. Whatever you say, dude. Fire. Oh, yeah. I'm going to get so many looks. Miley's gonna be so impressed. Ugh, it'll work. You'll see. Whoa, this place is sick. You should probably have my birthday here next month. Yeah. Oh, hey, Miley. Happy birthday. Hey, Theo. Hey, Eddie. Whoa, those are so cool. Thanks. Just got them. My bro hooked me up. Are those the new chili reds? Yeah. <laughs> no way. You like them? Those are awesome. What's going on over there? He'll gather around Eddie. Who's over with the busted Air Forces? Yeah, I guess. No, he's got a fresh pair of J's, look. Looks like somebody finally got an upgrade. It's about time. So I have my shoes. Are those Jays even real? Hey, leave him alone, Ryan. What? I'm serious. I wouldn't be surprised if he bought knockoffs. Oh, just ignore yeah. them. They're real. You sure yours are? <laughs> yeah, I got the receipt. I'll show you. Nah, no one cares about your busted Jays. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. I guess now we're even. Dude, what the heck? You scuffed my shoes. Why would you do that? Get out of here. Fine. This party sucks anyway. Let's go, boys. I never should have invited him. I'm sorry. 
It's not coming off. I'm dead. Hey, hey, it's gonna be okay, all right? We're all gonna sort this out, but for now, let's just play Mortal Kombat. No, we're not playing Mortal Kombat. This is an emergency. We have to go. Sorry. Happy birthday. Are you sure this is what it said to do? It's not coming off. Yeah, it says right here. Deep clean your shoe with dishwashing soap and a shoe brush. It's only making it worse, Theo. I don't know what to tell you, all right? Maybe you should just tell Jeremy. I warned you this was a bad idea. No, no way. First he'd kill me, and my mom would kill me, okay? There's gotta be something I can do. I can't believe Ryan called your J's fake. I mean, his are probably fake. That's it? What? I'll replace these with fakes. No, e Eddie, come on, you can't be serious. Yes, I gotta do something. I have a hundred bucks. I know I can get some. People sell them all the time. I gotta figure out where. This is the worst idea ever. I mean, Jeremy's gonna find out. He does this for a living. He already knows the real shoes are in there. He won't suspect a thing. Here, you clean those, you give me the laptop too. Fakes look pretty real, huh? Yeah, I mean, I can't tell the difference, but that doesn't mean Jeremy won't be able to. No, it'll work. Probably think he got ripped off or something. He won't suspect us. Okay, I'm gonna do it. All right, well. I'm not sticking around for this. Good luck, and I hope you make the right decision. Gee, thanks. I thought you were going home. What are you doing in my room? Nothing. to make sure you didn't wear them. Of course not. I heard you loud and clear the first time. All right, well, get out of my room. Some new sneakers are dropping and I need to go get them. Wait, actually, why don't you come with me? This be a good intro to the sneaker business. Uh, I don't know. Come on, I'll show you the ropes. Get out of your PJs and meet me in the car. So I bought these for 200 and I'll probably sell them for three. Wow, I can't believe you make 100 bucks that fast. Sometimes even more. Uh, let me... Hello? You here? Okay. Cool, see you soon. Who was that? The guy I'm selling the shoes to. You already sold those? No. No, I am selling these from yesterday. You're selling those? Yeah, they're super hot right now. Everybody wants them. Made a buck fifteen a day. Crazy, right? I don't think you should sell those. Why not? Because they're nice. I think you should keep them. <laughs> Bro, this is business. And besides, I think this is the perfect opportunity for you to see the process. I think that's him. You Jeremy? Yep, you... Butch, right? Let me see the box. How much are you asking for these? 400. Big markup. You mind if we talk outside? There's a lot of people out here and it's a lot of cash. Uh, sure. Gee, I don't think that's a good idea. Just pack everything up, let's go. It'll be fine, come on. Can I see those shoes again? Sure.
You know, I must say, you got a lot of nerve. What are you talking about? The real Jordan logo is deeply embedded into the shoe. See the bottom? The real retro Chili 9 Reds have a bigger Jordan. I don't understand what you're saying. Are you trying to play dumb? These are fake! Look, man, I just got these from Nike. Save it. I could show you the receipt. I told you to save it. You've probably done this a bunch of times to a lot of guys, but decided to scam the wrong guy this time. You know, I really don't appreciate people wasting my time. In fact, it really makes me mad. I'm, I'm sorry, man. I'll call Nike and figure it out. Maybe they mixed up the shoes during shipping or something. I've never sold a fake pair of Jordans before. Trust me. Ask any of my customers. That's because your customers are regular people and wouldn't know how to spot a fake. A real sneakerhead can tell the difference. You must really play me for a fool, huh? Let him go! Let him go! Please don't do this in front of my little brother. He needs to see what happens when people aren't honest. I didn't! I didn't! I didn't! I didn't! I didn't. Okay, I took the sneakers, even though you told me not to. I took them, and I took them, I wear them to the party, and everything was going fine until this mean kid Ryan, he came and stepped on them, and then he got all ruined. And then I took the hundred dollars I had, and then I bought fakes with them so I could replace them. But I didn't think you'd notice. I didn't even think you'd sell them. I'm sorry, okay, this isn't his fault, it's mine. Eddie, are you kidding me? I'm really sorry, okay? I really am. <laughs> you two must be a tag team or something. That was a real good story, kid. But I'm not buying it. You're dead meat. No! The only way I'm not gonna punch his lights out is if it weren't a real transaction. Lucky for you, it's not. Huh? This isn't real? Nope. You see, when I came home early, you were still sleeping. When I checked the inside of the box, guess what I saw? No sneakers. I knew you took him to the party. I decided instead of confronting you, I'll let you come clean. But of course you didn't. I knew those jays were fake the moment I saw them. So I called Butch and decided to teach you a lesson. You two know each other? Yep. And luckily for you, because if we didn't, it wouldn't have ended so well for you. See you at the gym. Thanks for the help, man. I'll get you those four infrareds at cost. Yes. I'm still in shock. I don't know what to say. You really think I wasn't gonna notice? I was desperate. The kids at school were making fun of me. There was a girl I was trying to impress. I'm really sorry, Jeremy. Come on. Look, I get it. Mom had me wearing Walmart shoes until I was old enough to buy my own. So, I get what you're feeling. But do you want this girl or kids to like you for you or your shoes? Guess I never thought of it like that. You should want people to like you for who you are, not what you have. Crazy thing is, if you just waited, shoes were yours anyways. What do you mean? I think they're in size nine by coincidence. I got them for you as an early birthday gift. Okay, look, just tell me what I gotta do to make it up to you. Well, you can start by cleaning all my old sneakers for a year. A year? <laughs> Three months. Deal, deal. Does mom know Good. I'd rather deal with Butch than mom. <laughs> Come on. Let's go. I told you you were gonna- I don't wanna talk about it, all right? <laughs> what happened to New Jays? I hope they didn't get ruined. You know what? I actually happen to like my shoes, so leave me alone, Ryan. Or what are you gonna do about it? Cry? Oh, leave me alone, Ryan. Oops. You, you scratched my shoes. I'm sorry, it was an accident. No, no, no! It, it's not coming off. No, no! <laughs> Hey, watch it. Bro, you just scuffed on my shoes. These are $300 sneakers. I'm so sorry, I didn't mean to do that. How would you feel if I stepped in your shoes, huh? Hey, are you Sam? Username sneakerkid33. Yeah, you must be Skylar. Or should I say Flykick Scale? Yep, that's me. And these are the limited edition sneakers you asked for. Wow, they're perfect. That'll be $200. Okay, I should have enough. Let me see. 
100, 120, 140, 150. Shoot, I'm so sorry, I don't think I have enough. Oh, okay. It's not a problem, I understand. 150 is fine. Wow, really? I thought for sure you're gonna say no. Well, someone once taught me you have to always put yourself in other people's shoes because you never know what they're going through. So I'm happy to help. Hey, watch it! Bro, you just scuffed on my shoes. These are $300 sneakers. I'm so sorry, I didn't mean to do that. How would you feel if I stepped in your shoes, huh? Oh, uh, I don't know. Because I, I don't have any shoes. To be honest, I don't even remember how it feels wearing shoes. I've been walking barefoot for months. Whatever, man. Get lost. Anyway. Where were we? Um, uh, just one second. Excuse me, sir. I want you to have these. What? No, I couldn't possibly take those. That's too much. No, I insist. No one should have to walk around barefoot. So please, take them. Really? Oh my god, I, I don't know what to say. Thank you so much. My feet have been hurting so bad lately, I've hardly been able to walk. You have no idea what this means to me. God bless you. God bless you too. You can't be serious. You just lost $150 to give some homeless man shoes? Yeah, I did. Why in the world would you do that? Because I know what it feels like to not have any shoes. You see, a few years ago, I waited at home for my parents to come back from work. Except they never ended up making it home. I got a phone call saying that they had gotten into a car crash and neither one of them survived. Being all alone, with no one to take care of me, I ended up living on the streets. Things got so bad, that even the one pair of shoes I had fell apart. But then one day, a stranger came and saw the condition I was in. Even though she didn't even know me, she decided to help me. When I asked her why, she told me something I'll never forget. She said, you should always put yourself in other people's shoes because you never know what they're going through. So you see, that lady changed my life forever. Because of her, I bought some shoes and even started my own business of selling shoes online. Oh my God. I'm so sorry you went through that. Thanks. And I'm really sorry about your shoes. But I'm sure you'll find a great new use of your $150. Actually, you're right. Uh, there's something I have to do. But it was nice meeting you, Flag Scale. I'll never forget you. Excuse me, sir. Please, if this is about messing up your shoes, I'm really sorry. No, no, it's not about that. I actually wanted to come here and give you this. Please, take it. But I don't understand. I thought you were mad at me. Why would you help me? Well, someone once taught me that you should always put yourself in other people's shoes because you never know what they're going through. And I'm sure you need this more than me. Oh my god. Thank you so much. This is going to change my life. God bless you, sir. God bless you too.